guys it's been ages since i talked here kind of just been i lost kind of creativity and that's why i wasn't able to like um, post for the past like two weeks i think but i feel like i'm back now so yeah i started reading the drifting classroom uh yesterday i am halfway through the first omnibus i finished like the first well i'm in half i think uh, and it's really intense like I don't remember it. the first omnibus was as intense as this but it is so so good so as you know as I said in the previous videos this is an first one of the first isekai stories about um, an earthquake that happens that causes the transfer of a whole elementary school into another world and um, I'm just gonna say into another world because I don't want to spoil anything but it's so much more than that um it is so so good and as you read it you slowly learn how adults are so much weaker than children because at the end this is the children who are going to try and save themselves while the adults slowly lose their mind um so yeah i've been i really want to finish it today but right now i have to go out um today's my friend's birthday and we're having a little picnic like in the park for her I just got ready. My makeup is kind of. It's kind of not doing it. So I'm just gonna. I use this palette from NARS. Like, uh, I haven't bought a new palette since ages ago. I'm just gonna add a little bit of brown on my under eye. Does that make a difference? I don't know. Let's put a bold lip since i'm not wearing much and i used the nars orgasm blush it's my favorite blush let's put some more my favorite lip like it looks beat up but because i used it a lot this is wet and wild spiked with rum and it's the perfect Isn't it pretty? I'm so sorry for the bad lighting. I just don't feel like opening a window. I it's today's Sunday. This vlog is so weird. I started it on a Saturday. I just felt motivated like all of a sudden. So we gotta make use of that. Um, I have I finished my midterms. I still didn't get my mark. Um, so I'm waiting on that, and I have my finals first week of december and i still haven't started studying like properly studying so i'm gonna make use of that for this week while i read the drifting classroom and watch my dramas and yeah this is gonna be like a weekly vlog i hope that you guys like it i feel like these are like my favorite videos to make the videos i'm most comfortable with so i think i'm just going to continue doing that for the time being like i'll still talk about manga and books and uh, yeah um let's talk about what i'm currently watching i'm currently watching um the tale of the nine tailed starting Lee dong Wook and jo boa and kumbum and it's just so so good like i heard a lot of people say it was boring but it's not like that at all it's really interesting especially if you like folklore like korean mythology and folklore and lore tales and stuff like that it's very focused on that and sometimes it's really creepy like it really creeped me out a couple of times like it has also a little bit of jump scares i don't know i really liked it also another uh, drama that i'm watching right now is the professional singles this is chinese drama about just college freshmen and how they're dealing with college and how they're falling in love it's really cute and adorable and the leads are adorable like highly recommend also i'm watching gaia si pelicula or like in the movies this is a filipino bl drama i'm watching it on youtube i'm gonna post it in the description down below for you to check out it is so good one of the best bls i've watched all year long it's going to be finished next week. The final episode is going to be on this Thursday. And I highly, highly recommend you watch it. It is so incredible. A great representation. Um, yeah, I highly, highly recommend. So yeah, right now I'm just going to head out and I'll take you with me. So yeah, let's go. <laughs> Dans la toile étanche, triste stress sur le voile Et moi envoûté de ténèbres 
Je passe des heures infinies à compter les moutons funèbres qui tapissent mes insomnies. Oh, oh, minuit est là. Oh, oh, je ne dors pas et moi je dors et plus je pense, plus je pense et moi j'oublie. L'espace immense qui s'étend au fond de mon lit C'est inouï tout ce silence qu'il est cosmique cet ennui Toi je recourir à la science, anesthésie Do not stand at my grave and weep I am not there I do not sleep I am a thousand winds that blow I am the diamond glints on snow I am the sunlight on ripened grain I am the gentle autumn rain When you awaken in the morning's hush I am the swift uplifting rush Of quiet birds in circle flight I am the soft stars that shine at night Do not stand at my grave and cry. I am not there. I did not die. Hey guys, how are you? I just finished watching so um, three, I think, of Show Me the Money in the 90th season with my sisters, but we really aren't feeling it. We kind of feel like it's really boring this season. Like, I like the judges, but none of the contestants are interesting. Now I'm getting ready for bed. I wanted to show you my updated skincare routine, and then I'm going to be watching a little bit of YouTube, but mostly I'm going to be reading um, the last volume of this omnibus or the first omnibus of drifting classroom i really want to finish it today today i was supposed to go to uni to the hospital i'm interning into the hospital but i was really tired and i just didn't i couldn't get up in the morning so yeah let me try to show you my updated skincare routine currently i'm using the misha uh, super aqua essence i really really like it i used it a couple of times and i could really see a different take I always start with an essence and next I've been using the the Inculus the vitamin B, C and E moisturizer it says moisturizer but it's really thin so I kind of use it like a serum I think it's finished as well I really like this product um, like it's really good I finished a couple of products and I would like to talk, tell you guys about them the last time I'm using this and as I said, for me, this is not considered like a moisturizer because it's really, really thin and uh, I have really dry skin, so I only use it like a serum. So, and next I use an eye cream because it's a must. I have really sensitive under eyes after I did my surgery, became... Um, my eye surgery, my eyes just became very vulnerable to everything and turning of the seasons is always bad for me I think the Claire's fundamental nourishing eye butter is really really good honestly so I'm gonna do the black rose cream mask by Sicily it says a mask but it's just a moisturizing mask so I can use it like a sleeping mask yeah and that's it for skincare so I finished a couple of products and I would love to tell you guys about them. First of all, I finished this CMP Propolis Deep Mask Moisture. I love this. It's really good. Highly recommend. This is like a sleeping mask or um, a very moisturizing pack. Like I highly recommend this. Also finished this one. This is the Evan A Oxidative Serum. This is an antioxidant defense serum. 
100% recommend this is amazing especially if you live in the city antioxidants are really good against pollution highly recommend this one it's really great I also finished the fermented complex 94 boosting serum by Porito. I hated this. I actually bought it because a lot of people were raving about it, but I didn't see any difference at all. Usually with essence, the more you use it, the more you see a difference. Or also when you stop using it all of a sudden, you will also see a difference in your skin. Didn't see anything with this one. I don't like it. I don't know why people like it. Maybe it worked for other people. It just didn't work for me. I didn't see any difference. I really wanted to like it because it wasn't that expensive and also it's fermented um, and I heard like fermented essences and serums are really good for your skin but it did nothing for me unfortunately um, the NS free Jeju volcanic color clay mask the color purple and calming this is one of the cheapest masks I ever bought this is a ton dollar mask but you can buy it for less during sale and there are a lot of kinds uh, from this one because um, there's like calming, cleansing, um, moisturizing, hydrating, these kind of masks. I cut the calming because sometimes my skin gets irritated and I loved it. Highly recommend. This is a clay mask that will cleanse without hurting your skin, without damaging it, without stripping it of any moisture. And yeah, I highly recommend this one. Um, the vitamin B, C and E moisturizer. I really like it. People with oily skin, this could be as a, this could be used as a moisturizer because I have dry skin. I used it more like a serum because it was very light moisturizer, or maybe under makeup, uh, it could work as well. I liked it as a serum, as I said, and yeah, it's very concentrated, very powerful. I liked it. Um, then we have the Bee Pollen Renew Ample by Misha. This is an ample or like a serum. Uh, this is very, very, very thick. Uh, kind of serum perfect for winter I liked it like it was um, moisturizing it was very hydrating but these are the products that I've been using and have used uh, right now I'm going to go finish the drifting classroom and maybe tell you all about it tomorrow tomorrow I have a very busy day and uh, hopefully I'll sleep early though no promises so yeah I'll update you guys tomorrow good night for today or these chunky roots. I actually woke up today and I'm going to uni to the hospital. Yeah, uh, guys, good morning. Now that I am a little bit more awake. Not really, I actually slept only two hours. I couldn't sleep, stayed awake till six. And I had to wake up like at 7 a.m. to go. Um, so yeah, uh, I finished yesterday the first omnibus of the drifting classroom. And I give it four out of five stars. I really liked it, except that I felt like it didn't age well in some parts because the manga was written in 1973. And there was a lot of sexism and misogyny in the first omnibus. It didn't sit right with me in some panels, like in some parts. So I gave it four out of five stars. Uh, but the manga is brilliant. It's actually very intense and very terrifying at times. Not terrifying, it's just really intense. It pulls you in of the way that the children were dealing with the situations. Now the manga is very much lord of the flies like a modernization of lord of the flies and this is where the sexism also came because you feel like they came into this mindset of men are gonna protect and women are gonna like give birth and rear children when they are children themselves and no one's gonna give birth or anything so it was dumb but i could see where it was coming from i guess but I just, I still, it still didn't sit well with me, um, but I highly recommend it, like, please go read it, it's so, so freaking good, it's perfect for this weather, it's so chilly here, Actually, the manga gives perfect explanation why the adults, they can't handle these kind of situations, so I highly recommend it, like, please go pick it up, so yeah, now I'm on my way to the hospital for my internship i have a full day but hopefully the doctor will be like 
you can go early <laughs> I didn't sleep and I didn't eat I didn't even put makeup on I was just like let's just leave the house <laughs> so yeah I will update you guys later Kutruger, what's the matter? You don't look so good. No, no. Are you on another bender? Where'd you learn that word, Melissa? From you. All right. Misogyny in this is so annoying. Like it's it's really I don't know what to say. <laughs> this is really annoying me and getting on my nerves. <laughs> guys so i just finished from ministry of education i had to take all my papers when you're transferring school there always seems to be 
some paper missing I just finished it now I have to rush home because I have a quiz in an hour and yeah so I'm running so that's how my day started I will update you guys later My quiz is starting in 15 minutes. I made it. Can you imagine? I, I ran all the way home for a five minute quiz. But before like my quiz starts, since I have some time, let me tell you about the second volume. I actually hated it. I don't know. It's not hated it. Let me put this here. Oh, you're gonna see the mess that is my room. So it's more like kind of despised it at some parts. So the second volume is about the plague and you know I was reading Station Eleven, this one, before starting this one. And this book is about a flu-like virus that ends humanity um, in like 20 years. And this volume gets into the plague and funny enough we're living through a pandemic right now, like a global pandemic. So um, that made me terrified a little bit, honestly, like I'm not gonna lie, but this is, it gets into the plague for some reason and how the plague killed humanity and slowly starts killing the children in the in that world that they get transported to. But not only that, um, there were a lot of loopholes in the story and the dialogue was all weird and the misogyny and the sexism in this manga really like it really got to me and it really bothered me because I get it that it was like from the 70s but it's just so much also there are a lot of instances where men hit women and not just the children like even in our world like not in the world that the children are in and they're just acting like savages and okay like they're children and they don't know what they're doing and so the boys are just hitting girls whenever they don't feel like it but even in our world like just punches you know like they punch them like that is so weird and even the dialogue is so weird the story has a lot of loopholes or dumb instances where I'm just like what that doesn't even make sense you and I know like it's fantasy but there I just feel like the story is a little bit messed up like this volume right now is three stars um I I like I have to say there are a lot of twists that are really engaging and I, I am enjoying it like when I start reading it I don't want to put it down it's a good story it's just there's, there's some bits and pieces here and there that are just bothering me like a lot hello good morning uh, so I finished the second omnibus and I just wanted to tell you about it about my thought before heading to uni um or my internship at the hospital so i loved it and i ended up giving it four stars i feel bad because there's so much misogyny and just smacking of women and sexism that i don't want to give it a high score i'm gonna use purple, uh, purple blush yes this is a purple blush like an orange blush and um yeah it's like the story keeps going into twists that i never saw coming and you as a as a reader you always question yourself like how did we get here but like in a good way you know because the story has a lot of twists and i i really really enjoyed this volume it started a little bit rocky but then the story like escalated quickly into a different direction and i just ended up really liking it if you're asking why i'm putting makeup and no one's gonna see it it's it's for my own sanity like i just want to feel better and so i'm putting makeup on um so i'm using this one i've also been reading something else i've been reading vampire dormitory i'm gonna use lipstick i'm gonna use um three ce's in the color inked heart and it's available digital digitally through kodansha and it sucks, like it's so bad, but it's the kind of manga that you just binge read it all in one day. And I did. I uh, I would really love if they printed because it's so cute and adorable, like the art. And I 
like it's bad but i still buy it in a heartbeat because it's so cute also it's about vampires um it's quite weird the um the sexism and the toxic masculinity is exists there as well and uh the main characters like fall for each other like in the first couple of chapters but i still binged it all in a day so and not even a day it was a night so i'm done please don't look at how messy my room is i as i said today i have a really busy day and i'm heading out right now so i'll update you guys later and this is the otd it's really cold today and it's raining um so yeah i'll update you guys later and i hope you have a wonderful day as well bye bye <laughs> lovely people so i just finished the drifting classroom i finished the last omnibus this was so heavy i can't even carry it uh but yeah i finished the manga all the volumes and i am giving the last volume a four as well i really really enjoyed this manga i tried to hate it because there was a lot of misogyny sexism just abuse against women in a ridiculous way um but the story is really well written some parts of it were really woke where you can feel the author or the manga is kind of like uh, warning us about our current behaviors and practices and actions that are going to hurt us in the future like climate change like about climate change and about using of plastic and all of that but at the same time there were so some like Parts of it were really, really dumb, like the <laughs> the opposite of woke. So um, it kind of confused me, like how can you be so woke about everything else except how you treat women? And uh, yeah, I but I still enjoyed the manga and I highly recommend it if you want to read it. Like it's the twist in this is amazing and the ending is the most realistic ending, even though it's a sci-fi manga. Um, I personally i really enjoyed it the art is amazing and it's very nostalgic it's the old kind of art and um as i it is um, an old manga from the 1974 but i loved it i highly recommend it the children were terrible <laughs> but okay 
but yeah they were so freaking cruel and just awful um it truly is lord of the flies um or similar to lord of the flies and you can tell that the manga got took inspirations from that so yeah i thank you so much for watching this video i am so sorry for if it was long or boring to you and um i kind of like the idea of continuing like doing vlogs and then reading a certain manga like like this if you like this kind of idea please tell me down below uh, if you like it or not, or what kind of manga do you want me to read, or how can I make my videos better. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. I'm